Yo ho, how's it going? Oh, I am going to do my uh, new totally brutal series in my truck because I can do this and look like a hoodlum creepy mysterious uh, creeper. <laughs> I don't know what this month's song topic is going to be at this point in time, so let's spin the random wheel and find out. This is what you've been waiting for. This premiere right here. You've been waiting for this moment. Let's spin the wheel. Cluster bombs. Whoa. Man, I put a whole bunch of like military weapons and stuff in my song topic list of song topics. You know, I thought, oh, that's brutal. It blow people up. So, yeah, now we've got cluster bombs. Not exactly a gore metal topic, I know, but it's brutal, right? It works. I think it works. Let's read up a little bit on these and figure out what I'm going to be writing about for this month then. Because all I know is they're bombs that fall, they split apart into separate bombs, and then they blow the shit out of everything. And they're really, really lethal. Yeah, definitely a military thing. I think they drop them out of a plane. And then they split up and then they're like bah, 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 everywhere. And then body parts are flying in the sky like ah! Yeah. Well, this is the Wikipedia article. You've got a cluster munition thing going on here. There's a picture of some bomb from 1940. There's the side wings, end wings, the bomb body, arming spindle, fuse, explosive cavity. I guess that's where it explodes, obviously. The fuse must be where it ignites it. The cluster munition is a form of airdrop or ground launch explosive weapon that releases or ejects smaller submunitions. Commonly, this is a cluster bomb that ejects explosive bomblets that are designed to kill personnel and destroy vehicles. <laughs> Other cluster munitions are designed to destroy runways or electric power transmission lines, disperse chemical or biological weapons, or to scatter landmines. Some submunition-based weapons can disperse non-munitions, such as leaflets. And so there's a picture of an unexploded one, one that's just sitting there. So looking at this, I'm thinking like, what if a kid was like out playing and they found a, a freaking bomb? Well, that that would be bad, right? And then it reads my thoughts exactly the next point in the article. Because cluster bombs release many small bomblets over a wide area, they pose risks to civilians both during attacks and afterwards. Unexploded bomblets can kill or maim civilians and or unintended targets long after a conflict has ended and are costly to locate and remove makes sense and that's what i was thinking is like what if it's years after a war has ended and no one really hates each other anymore and some kid came up and fiddled with the bomb and then they're like bam oh so it's going through some world war ii stuff there's different types so we have parachutes and carters and streamers slows down the altitude yeah Oh, uh, you get the gist of it. It opens up, and then a ton of them pour out. Right here. I thought this picture was really great. Right here it says nearly 100 countries are signing a treaty to ban cluster bombs. And this is a pretty good description of how they work. A big bomb that opens up and releases a shit ton of little bombs. They scatter everywhere and blow the shit out of everything. Just like I said. And yeah, they drop them out of planes. 
So here we go. I'm gonna write a bombastic cluster bombing song right here this month on this channel. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, tell them all to subscribe if they like homebrew death metal with blood and gore. Because there will be blood and gore, like gore bombs, cluster gore bombs. I could make it gory. I could. I could make this gory. I could find all sorts of gore-tastic things to put in here. Because bombs can be gory. Yeah. Hit the bell icon to get notified because I'm going to have a lot of things coming up during this month. That's right. I will. So stay tuned. This song is going to be awesome. I haven't written it yet. I don't even know the riffs yet. I just know it's going to be awesome. So we'll see you later. Thanks for watching this month's episode of Totally Brutal and goodbye.